What's going on everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how I use 3D printing to help this old girl out. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to pull the desk back and then show you what that looks like behind there. Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, a couple of things that I made with a 3D printer for the, for the old desk here uh, that I thought was kind of clever was some feet extensions for my PC case. You know it's a PC case, I don't know, whatever. It's feet for the case because the case was too uh, close to the table. So now that gives it a little bit more air to, to breathe and circulate under there to pull up and uh, you know, whatever. So anyway, uh, another thing is I've messed up in drilling these holes. So I put holes here because originally I had the stand over here in the middle. So when you look at it, the stand was right here and I had those two holes where the uh, uh, power and the display would come up and then this is where the middle thing was mounted. But I didn't realize this, but uh, until, until after I got this one or whatever, but there's actually little slits in the back of this so that you can um, have your cords come up the same hole as the, as the stand. So those weren't needed anymore. So I decided just to put one of those uh, Qi chargers on there and uh, I'll show you. Everybody knows what a cheat charger is, but you just put it on there and then it charges, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, I used to have that uh, portable or not portable, but the Qi charger, I, I think that's what it's called, um, right here where you can see this little guy here. But I plugged it with another uh, 3D print, so that was kind of cool. Um, 3D printers obviously... Uh, have a bunch of 3D printed upgrades like feet, same thing for airflow underneath, little uh, leveling bed knob. This is where I keep my like stuff that you need to uh, put 3D prints in there. Um, so that's the top part, I guess, more or less. Uh, what really it helped with 3D printing help with is this cable management back here. So there's these little guys and I probably didn't move this desk out far enough. Um, there's those kind there, and then there's these uh, cable like tightener things. So all of these will be linked in my uh, thingiverse if you guys are interested in printing in yourself. I didn't design these. These were uh, on there that people had already made. I just kind of put them all together. So you can go with whatever you you want to. This wire actually needs to be drilled through the desk like those and pretty much everything else that's the only one that i still need to do but anyway uh yeah so you can use these these are kind of cool because if you want to you can just turn your cable sideways and then it holds it i like these better i think just because they're actually in there kind of clip solid they still move back and forth a little bit but they uh keep them like in their own little section so I would, if you're looking to clean up your uh, your cables, I would definitely look into these and look into these because these are dope. They like they take the slack out of the cable that you don't need. And I used to zip tie these all together. Like I'd take this cord and wrap it around in, in like a circle about this big and then zip tie like two sides of it so that I would just have a ball of, of cable. But this actually makes it clean and it, it keeps it kind of linear like in the same like little area. So that's pretty nice. Um, I have my power strip right here. I'm gonna lay down a little bit so you can see. But I have my power strip right here running back and then it's it's kept up with one of these. I did use one zip tie in this whole uh, thing and it's right here to keep tension on this tape uh, cable. So I pulled this cable tight, put a zip tie right here and then it keeps this cable relatively straight. Um, it's pretty thick so you know it, it is what it is but anyway so i like to keep these all relatively straight and like if it's on the third one or fourth one here then it's on the third one or fourth one down there just so you can keep track of it you know where it is but here's another one of those uh cable guys and this is one you so you could print these in different sizes there's like a three a six, a nine, and a 12, and I think this is a nine. So 
there's this size, a size bigger, this size, and a size bigger. So depending on how much extra cable you have. But they, they look super clean, I think. And not that anybody's going to be looking at your loose cables or whatever, but um, it just keeps it super organized. Like I got three right here, and it's really not that big of a deal, I guess. And then there's the back of my uh, computer. So that's something that's pretty cool. I really, I really do like these uh, cable shorteners. You just have to be careful because... Um, this part here can actually damage the cable if if it's a little like close to snug because these these corners right here like right here are a little sharp because they are plastic you know so just keep in mind like whenever you're pushing the cables in there to just be gentle with them because if you just jam them then it'll, it'll kind of mess the uh, the coating of the rubber on the cable up a little bit so anyway that's that I just wanted a quick uh, 3d print to show in the cable management stuff works really good and i'll show you from the front like you see all the cables that it takes to oh, if i can stand up all the cable it takes to plug in everything and then i'll show you from the front so if you were to look down here you don't really see much the only thing that you can see is really these mouse and uh so this is my uh, keyboard and this is my mouse and then they're just kind of jumbled up right here and you can kind of just tuck that back. They're just jumbled up right here. The reason why I don't have 3D prints holding these like up or whatever or that slack, um, this slack all tied up with one of those things in the back is because I'm getting a new keyboard and mouse in the next like week. So my wife just ordered me a, a Model O. Um, glorious mouse and she ordered me a 60 percent mk or kmmk glorious 60 percent uh, keyboard so that was really nice of her i didn't uh i've never thought about getting a uh glorious uh keyboard i did look at the oops i did look for the uh model o mouse i kind of have been thinking about that for a long time i wouldn't have bought it myself just because uh i have a mouse but um it's really nice that she got me that. So anyway, the reason why I haven't managed these yet is because they're about to be replaced. But once they get replaced, then that'll happen. So that's that. I mean, I, I guess quick overview. I have a computer. I have a hub for the USB. I have another USB hub over here. I have the 3D printer. And then I have my display um, and my uh, webcam that I need to upgrade. So all that is pretty well made. Oh, and my uh, headphones. And I forgot about these. So this headphone thingy was the first thing that I 3D printed and it is freaking sweet. Like I looked and looked and looked for a headphone mount that I would like and uh, it took me a while to come across this, but I like this model the best. So yeah, so that's that. And everything looks pretty clean, I think. So thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching the video. Uh okay, and uh, to wrap it up, uh, that's that. So this is the desk, the feet, the uh, headphone hanger, uh, parts for this. Obviously, if you own a 3D printer, you know you you know this is the, probably the first thing that everybody uh, gets to printing because it's like the easiest and you're going to use it a bunch. So whatever. Anyway, uh, in the back there. So that's the clean setup. Another thing I forgot to mention was uh, uh, there are office things like this that you can print, like little holders for your. Uh, holders for your USB stuff. What are these things called? Thumb drives. Um, I don't keep it on my desk because I don't use those all the time. And like, I've seen a super, a bunch of super like office-y things on, uh, on Thingiverse. I'm, this isn't an office to me that's kind of unrelatable. Like I don't keep sticky notes here. If you do, then, you know, by all means print a sticky note thingy. But the only thing that I have on my desk that would be like office-y is a coaster and i just started using that i've like you can see i've been spilling coffee all over this thing all the time if you want to know how i clean this i have a video for that um anyway uh yeah so the coffee cup in this thing is the only office-y thing and i don't even know if that's i've never worked in office i don't know anyway uh yeah so thanks for watching the video. This is what's going on. If you want to check out how to build this desk, I also have a video for that. Um, I'm going to be building another desk right here. That's going to get moved out of the way. 
Uh, I'm gonna build my wife one right here because she's got this laptop that just sits here. And like, it's a good laptop, it's relatively new, um, but we don't have anywhere to put it and it kind of just gets shoved in the corner and stuff. So like, I'm gonna build her a desk right here and get her her own little action there. So I could have my stuff here and she can have her stuff there and then we can all be, you know, computer family. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, thanks for checking out the little uh, things that I wanted to show you. And that's that. So this is B-roll right here. Oh yeah. Okay, so anyway, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Talk to you guys in the next one, bye.